Hey there, my name is Matthew Walder, I'm the Community Manager at Red 5 Studios. I'm joined here today by... I'm James McCauley, the Executive Producer on the project. I'm Mark Kern, I'm the CEO. And I'm Scott Young, the Lead Designer. So we're going to show you a little bit of Firefall today, and uh, people that are playing in this demo are actually Scott and James. James is the assault battle frame that's here in the back. What's up, what's happening? And Scott was the medic that just gave him a wave, he's going to try to keep James healed. Hi! So, uh, Firefall is a game that... Uh, we really felt uh, the world was ready for it. This is a game I've wanted to make for a very, very long time. Yeah, me too. I really wanted to, to, to take the uh, the action-oriented you know, uh, combat and, and really meld it with, with a couple of the elements from, from MMOs and other genres. Yeah, so first and foremost, we're a team-based action shooter, uh, and we wanted to make sure that we had a kick-ass shooter before we added anything else to it. Uh, so what we're showing you off at PAX and what we're showing off in this demo right now is uh, just a small example of the cooperative open world campaign that we've created. Yeah, some people have asked, is there any like dice rolling or is this like, you know, other MMOs that, that try to incorporate action? They say, no, it's just sort of pure shooter mechanics here. What uh, James and Scott are actually doing right now is, is a thumper mission to mine some Christite, which is a resource that's pretty important in the world. It allows them to upgrade their equipment, their battle frames, their backpacks, their army tech tree, and as a base form of currency. Important to point out that you can drop this anywhere in the world where, you know, this is all part of our dynamic counter system. Now what we're actually putting down here, calling down, is a thumper, which is unlocked through your army tech tree. We're pretty excited about giving you shared common goals with your friends to unlock certain tech. And so in this case we have a thumper which is mining the Christite, but it also happens to make a lot of noise, which is attracting the attention of all these spiderites. Which is a pretty heavy nod to, to movies like Starship Troopers and Zoom, uh, to give you that sense of, oh my god, we're being attacked, we need to take care of this as quickly as possible. Your last day. Yeah, I definitely want to add that pacing, add that kind of like mini-game element where you're kind of balancing how many resources you can acquire versus, you know, people who want the bugs. Yeah, it, it definitely scales over time. I mean, uh, good players may be able to get the whole uh, thing full. Others might have to try a few times to get it there. So you'll notice we're switching between weapons uh, here. Virtually everything in Firefall is customizable. We really wanted it to allow you to customize your equipment to your play style. So here I'm using the standard issue assault rifle. Uh, we were just on the uh, plasma cannon, which is all about uh, dishing out splash damage, which is great for these spiderites. But you can actually install modules to these weapons to change how they fire. So you can customize fire rate, accuracy, reload time, and even give alt fires to your custom signature weapon. And not just weapons, but also your abilities. So you might have seen James earlier perform an ability called Crater, which throws him up in the air and slams him down on the ground. It's uh, just a small example of our abilities. Players can combine different abilities to create some emergent gameplay. Yeah, I'm really wondering what players come up with between, you know, uh, the different abilities and how they combo with each other and how they combine with the other player. All of our abilities are physics-based and skill-based, so you have to know when your ear goes against through this. Oh, Bam! Nice, nice shot there, And James man. leveled nice up there, which is pretty awesome. Was, uh, yeah, we have leveling. Case yeah. Case yeah. Case so all of those abilities uh, require a lot of skill to use. So James missed that quite often during our demos. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Even at PAX during the live demos, we both missed when we were trying to do them. Uh, so it actually is, yeah. does require a little Very bit of skill. skill there. Well, and one thing that we really want to point out is that you know even though we are a skill physics based game, we're really shooting to make this very accessible to players who may not have the twitch skills like James. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Mark's only died six times in a row. I'm only on the heel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so we had to add dev chips to the demo. So you'll also notice that we've been switching between first and third person perspective. This was something that we uh, heavily debated internally for a while. Whether we were a first person shooter or a third person shooter, ultimately we, were deci we decided that there are opportunities to use both uh, situationally. And so depending on what weapon you have, what enemies you're up against, that there are times when you want to switch. So we I like how our sheer inability to decide actually just <laughs> cool feature. Yeah, it's a bonus for the player. So once you've collected all these resources, you can upgrade not just your weapons, not your battle frame, not just your, your backpack, but uh, you'll also be able to get a really slamming mustache. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta earn it, man. You gotta yeah. unlock that. That's that's a heavy D on mine. That's like killing the boss creatures right there. Um, so James just picked up a backpack, and he's going to hop on this dropship to uh, fly to a nearby city in order to equip that. Now, when we're flying over, we really wanted to show off that we have an open world that, that is actually lush and dynamic and has various things going on. 
Now, a lot of people thought that, that the guys below us traveling with, with us and fighting on the Thunderbolt bots, but you know, they're actually very offended because they're, they're, they're... They had practiced so Steven much. Steven and Brian. <laughs> and they practice a lot, and they, they just want you guys to know that they're human beings. Yeah, this is a large-scale game. You'll be sharing the space with hundreds of players. And for PAX, I really tried to uh, convince Matt to let me put two more computers in the closet at the booth, but he said no to that one. It was a tiny closet. <laughs> yeah, I guess at the end of the day, it was, <laughs> they would uh, not have fit. It was pretty. So.